line are you guys in? Oh. Okay. What anime are you from? Um, I'm actually from a video game, Final Fantasy X. Awesome. Yeah. What character are you? Uh, Waka. Waka. What does Waka do? He plays Blitzball, which is uh, kind of like soccer, but in the water with balls. <laughs> water balls. Is that what the game is about? Water balls? It, no, it's kind of like water polo, only it's underwater. Okay. If that makes any sense. First, what anime are you from? Uh, Bleach. Bleach, okay. I was playing as Halibull. Halibull, I was just about to ask that, thank you. Why did you choose Halibull? Honestly, she's like the only black, um, or I guess colored, you know, character. So I'm like, oh, you know, I could pull that out. So. What does Halibull do in the anime? I'll be honest, I haven't seen all of it. <laughs> Other things like be quiet, like stand back and observe, from what I've seen. This is what I do. So I was like, oh my god, same thing. Maybe you can kind of see what I was going for. <laughs> Long hair. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. I like to think I'm Urahara Gigai after all the filler. Yeah. Gigai, do you know what that is? Yeah. You want to explain it for me? Yeah, it's a fake body uh, that's, uh, that the Soul Reapers inhabit to interact with humans because if they're in their normal forms like I am, I wouldn't be able to see you and stuff like that. What character are you? Uh, his name is Guru Guru. He was in um, Ocarina of Time when the uh, when when Mill Hut. You know, playing the song. He was also in uh, Majora's Mask. If you remember that. Yeah. If you're into that jazz. Well, how long did it take you to make this and have it be functional? Um, building the box was actually really simple because you have to use lightweight wood and make a frame and these are panels. Can you kind of describe how? You turn this and it activates. It your... doesn't. It easily doesn't. You, um, you do the movement yourself. This is literally just it's... a free form where it's like it goes into one hole at the top, then goes down into like a white socket that's just slightly bigger. So it stays in the socket but still uh, uh, spin. Yeah. And the way the top is so awkward, that would just go the way that I'm leaning. I want to ask why you chose Guru Guru. Oh man, it's the most nostalgic thing ever if you, you know, like remember it. It's one of those people that you nobody know, would dress up as. Right. So there's no competition. That's why you stand out. You have yeah. a giant horn on your back. It's awesome. <laughs> I need you to tell me who you are. My name or my character? Either one. Hi, right, my name's Dallas and I'm dressed as a goblin from Ragnarok Online. Yes. <laughs> I summon large beasts. Four. You had some very handy hands last year. Good. I'm gonna take one step away. Why are you corn again? It's all about the corn. You have new... Uh... Corn has to get a little bit improved. A lot of steampunk happening this year, so steampunking it up, yes, for nice. steamed corn. Steamed corn. Ah, got it. That's good. I like it. Have you uh, used your gun on any unsuspecting... Corn uses his gun where necessary when nice. people need it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not quite, but... I'll just oh, I'm, I'm sure you can relate. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. All right. Are you enjoying yourself here again this year? Of course. Every year. Finding anything new and interesting? Corn finds lots of new friends, lots of interesting things and places to go. Any uh, Anything happening in Fanime that you're most happy about attending? Corn is excited about everything, everything about here. Fanime. Wow, you're just all about... Especially the fans. All right, man. I'm not going to get take up too much of your right, time. I gotta get you can take stuff from corn if you like. It's all right. Okay, you got uh, salt, pepper, butter, and yeah, you're ready to go, man. Ready to go? Here again with corn. I'm just over my plan in front of Jasper failure. And this yeah. is corn. Damn right it's corn. Doing what he does best. Being corny. As much as that line. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Out of order. <laughs> Smells bad. What? What's that? Yeah, get that. Again? Guten Tag. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? No. 
What anime are you from? I am not from an anime. Okay, then where are you from? I am from a movie called Zoolander. So who are you in this movie? I play the main protagonist. Which is? Mugatu. Okay, can you give me a few lines as Mugatu? It's like, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, or obey my dog. I invented the piano key necktie. Invented it! What about your nothing, Derek? Oh, you're nothing, Derek. It's one look. Yeah, you're it's nothing. Nothing. Yeah. nothing. Nothing. Get into it, man. Nah, I'm too tired, bro. Okay. I'm sorry. So I'm right. Mugatu. I don't have time for this crap. Ha! What made you guys come to Fanime this year? Um, we wanted PR, to, yeah, actually. PR. We're here to advertise. Adver our, advertise. Our game. Yeah. Game. Um, hold on, hold on. Problems of Conflict. Yeah, it's our local Bay Area LARP. Local Bay Area LARP. So you are LARPing right now? No, we're no. not LARPing right now. We're just we're showing, advertising we're just showing for our LARP right now. Our LARP, what we do, our costuming. Hoping okay. to get some people interested. Like it. I know those guys. We are we're not with them, but I have played that game before. It is fun. Nice. Uh, well, it seems like that took a lot of work to get it all put together. Yep. Did, did you custom make it yourself? Uh, what I did is I worked with a professional armorer out of Texas. We oh, traded nice. sketches and ideas and stuff, and it took them about two years to put the whole thing together. Oh wow! So that does take a lot of time. Yeah, it does. Uh, the whole piece is about 80 pounds. Oh, um, you're carrying 80 pounds on you. Yeah. Wow. Here, hold that. Lift that. You must have an amazing body of muscle, just pure muscle. I have an amazing tolerance for suffering <laughs> that, and, a, and a large amount of self-hate. Why is he a box? Oh, he's Link. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, he's original Link, 8-bit Link, from the first uh, game. Okay. Why is he carrying a Bible? No, no, that's his shield. If he's Link, where's his sword? Oh, it's right. Don't have one. It's here. Okay. It kind of looks like a belt. Oh, you don't know where your sword is? He lost it? He lost his sword. He lost his sword. He's sad. Poor Link. Yeah. Tragic. I'm living a tragedy here at Fanime. <laughs> what are you? I'm um, just a generic soldier, actually. Just thought I'd come in my paintball gear. Uh, a bunch of my friends were cosplaying, and I thought I didn't really want to be the odd man out, so. Odd man out. So, yeah, I decided to get in. Why generic soldier here at Fanime? I just thought it'd be a uh, cool thing to dress up as. Nice, man. I actually... Hold on. He's got something on, yeah. on his utility belt. I did bring a kind of a ghost mask. I was ghost wearing mask. This on oh, so you could be uh, from... Uh, what's that game? Modern Warfare 2. What's, uh, what's the most attracting thing here at Fanime? Where mm. do you want to go? See the exhibits. There's a lot of really cool merchandise you can get. Just stuff that's been drawn or stuff from the video games. Nice. Yeah, it's really cool. So you guys I'm I haven't seen that many people here from it, but it's fun. You're so captivating, I forgot to turn the voice recorder on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So what does your character do? She kills people by shooting them. You know, I got to say, last year when we asked people that, every one of them said they killed people. This is the first time this year I've heard someone say that. Really? Well, congratulations. How expensive was your hat? I want to say it was probably like $40. It's not that bad. Yeah. How about the gun? Okay, the gun was by a family friend, so it was free. Nice. Yeah, it was very lucky. Very lucky. Complete? Wooden one piece? Yep, totally one piece. Except awesome. for these things. Cool. But Does that actually like magnify it really awesome? No, they're like cheap magnifying glasses. The only downside is when I grab it in the sun, it <laughs> burns my hand. Oh, it's messed up. Yeah, so but they're it's pretty cool. Well, since it I assume there's no bullets in there? No. You can burn your opponents. 
touche. Yeah. I like it. Oh, you do I like have a the way you think. Yeah, they can't peace by light. <laughs> you they just... can't peace by the natural elements. Exactly. There's just one. <laughs> yes. Like everything right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask. You're here at Fanime, what are you dressed as? I'm dressed as Piro Tess from the 1980s anime record of Lotus Wars. So you are from an anime? Yes. Believe it or not, you're probably the only person we've asked so far that is actually from an anime. Well, I think that the point of Fanime and anime conventions is while anime is the name, it's to represent the entirety of Japanese culture. Do people mistake you as LARPAs? No, they don't. <laughs> they haven't yet. H have they guessed your costume for what it is? Quite a few people have because they've been fans of anime for the last 20, 30 years and to see something so old school is just, I think, refreshing and really genuinely humbling that somebody would have the same passion for something so old. That's awesome. How long did it take you to make your costume? Um, about a week. Although I did not make the sword, uh, it took a lot of tailoring. Okay, cool. Um, is there any accessories that you have on there that you didn't make or is it all custom? I made, um, I altered the gloves, and I made the dress, and bought the boots. A friend made the jewelry. I made the gauntlet um, thing, <laughs> and uh, styled the wig. Nice. What at uh, the halls of anime are you most intrigued to participate in? I really love the masquerade. Um, They've done a very good job about making it by the fans for the fans to really pump up the competition as well as taking care of the costumers for the masquerade to make it the best show that they possibly could. Could you explain a little bit about Labyrinth? So in the movie Labyrinth, the character Jareth, played by David Bowie, is the Goblin King and he kidnaps the main character's little brother, forcing her to go through a labyrinth to retrieve the baby before he becomes a goblin. In a slightly pedophilic uh, romantic relationship, he kind of pines for the main actress. Didn't you sing in this said movie? Several times. Do you have a favorite song? I'd have to go with uh, Dance Magic Dance is pretty good. It's probably a little cliche, but that's my favorite one. What anime are you from? I'm not from an anime. I'm from a 90s movie called Labyrinth. It starts off with a little bit of dialogue with him and one of the goblins being like, You remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Who do? You do. Do what? Remind me of the babe. And it just goes on from there singing. He throws a baby in the air and catches he it. He throws a baby. Yes. It's a Jim Henson movie. So there's puppets everywhere. Was that your favorite scene? It's pretty funny. So are you guys from animes? Um, kind of an anime, kind of a video game. Uh, kind of video Street game, Fighter. yeah. Yeah, video Final game. Final Fantasy. Yeah. Have you guys fought each other? No, no we, we don't exist in the same yeah. world. We've hugged each other, but that's it. <laughs> so you cross dimensions to hug, but not to fight. Exactly. Uh, you have love in your heart? Yeah. No, I don't have a heart. He yeah, I was going to say. I have no heart. Like, that probably means you don't have a heart. <laughs> I don't have a heart. Yeah. yeah, it's on the left side, not the right side. Yeah. You should know that. You shouldn't know that. Unless you went to school. Did you go to school? No, I didn't. That's pretty evil. <laughs> we would never be friends. I didn't realize how evil you were. Yeah, you hugged him. I know. That's part of the evilness. <laughs> oh. I deceptive tricked people too. It's yeah. very deceptive. See, I thought it was just fighting. <laughs> well, why fight? Yeah. <laughs> but only if you're worthy. Uh, am I worthy? <laughs> Dude, I work with you. <laughs> oh yeah, we totally do. I see you on like Wednesday. I, I don't know. You don't know my schedule. I don't know your schedule. I know I, my schedule. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know my schedule. Um, well, maybe you're on my. Let's check. Because I think I have the schedule. They're bonding. <laughs> In this dimension. In this dimension. There's a phone. Ah!